Hello everyone, this is C Spire here with another broadcast. We have the Charles Henderson Trojans versus the Zion Chapel Rebels. We have unfortunately missed the first pitch. It was a ball. But we are starting off the game in a 1-1 count. We have the 5A Trojans here versus the 2A Rebels. Currently, we have number seven leading off for the Trojans, Jada Jones. It is a one-two count in the top of the first inning. We are excited for a bunch of good softball play. Pop fly out of play, just to the back right. It is still a one-two count here in Zion Chapel. Ball just up a little high, it's a 2 2 count. It's a busy day here in Zion Chapel. There is a boys varsity baseball game going on behind us as well. A swing up high, that will be the first strikeout of the game. Now up the bat, we have number 15, Kaylee Compton for the Trojans. That's a righty. I can't read. <laughs> the first pitch is a strike down the middle. It seems. <laughs> the second pitch low in the dirt. It'll be a 1 1 count. Ball just a bit outside. It'll be a 2 1 count. Ball down the middle. It will be an even 2 2 count. Batter steps into the box. And it will be fouled away into the baseball field of play. It is still a 2 2 count for Caldwell. Compton, sorry. I messed that up, sorry. Hard strut whenever a fly ball comes out of field. <laughs> Excuse that one. And again. That didn't hit no, it, it it hit someone on the shoulder. It hit a it hit a baseball spectator. Looks like she's okay though, so doesn't look like it was flying that far or that hard. It is still a two-two count. The pitch is up, a swing and a miss. That is the second strikeout, I believe, for Bannon. Now up the bat for the Trojans, we have the double zero, Molly Garrett. Let's see if you can get something going, a little two out magic going for the Trojans. First pitch, fouled straight back at us. Did you flinch? Uh, yes, I did. <laughs> I can't even lie to you. <laughs> The 0 1 count for the Trojans. Pitch up high. That's a swing and a miss. 0 2 count here. A little wide. 
pitch just a bit outside. It's going to be a 1-2 count here. Fouled straight back up. And just missed again. He's very lucky he didn't get hit right there. We're glad everyone's safe, though. It's still a 1-2 count here. We'll see if Bannon can, can clean this up and get the K. Ball hit to the shortstop. Throw, and she is thrown out at second. Or at first, I'm sorry. It is a three-up, three-down inning for the Trojans, and we'll be back in the bottom of the first. Here we are back in action in the bottom of the first inning. We have Bannon up to bat with Garrett on the mound. First pitch, fast and up the middle. Swing and a miss. First pitch, next up the middle. <laughs> Taking deep right field. That is a lead off home run for Bannon. Rebels already making a quick, quick appearance on the offensive part. Man. <laughs> you know, that's kind of got to be disheartening. You throw second pitch of the that bat and it take it gets taken deep right field. Here we are, number five, into the box for the Rebels. I believe her name is Riley White, but I could be wrong. I don't have a roster for the Rebels. Two, two pitches, two balls, I believe. It's going to be a 2-0 count here for the Rebels. I believe that pitch was a little bit too low. It's going to be a 3-0 count. And the last pitch is up high. That will be a walk for the Rebels. Next up in the bat, we have number 42, Amber Kidd. Let's see if she can drive it around here for the Rebels. First pitch up high, it'll be a ball. So far after that home run, you've seen five consecutive balls for the Trojans. Kind of wonder if that home run kind of shaked up the pitcher to begin with. Yeah, I mean, it's really scary seeing this first batter. <laughs> While we were talking, I see that they have stolen a base. Yes, the uh, I believe the pitcher uh, pitched the ball a little bit too low. Catcher kind of bobbled it and allowed the runner to steal second. Setting her up in the scoring position right here. Kid swings in the ball just a little bit low, sends it foul. Playing golf at the moment. Ball just a little bit high and allowed the uh, runner to score, or not score, but just to, steal another, yeah, to st steal another base, make it the third. And now she's definitely in scoring position right here. 
Bitcher for Charles Henderson has to get on her A game right here. Ball called a strike. It is a full count. It is a full count. I understand right there. You kind of just gotta, kind of gotta take it, and you know she's throwing you, throwing you three balls, one strike. You gotta, you gotta make her give it to you right there. Last pitch is up, and it is knocked foul and out of play. Kid is fighting right here. She's fighting to stay in it. Ball is up high, and that will be the second consecutive walk for the Rebels. Up next to that, we have number nine, Kennedy Hussey. It seems we have a base runner in for the Rebels. Bringing in number four, Hagen Sessions. Contact is made, hit the third baseman, bobbled, goes to throw it home, misses the catcher, we get one runner in. The second runner is in. Third to base. And it allowed Hussey to make it all the way over to third base. What a good RBI play right there. It's just a, just a bad throw by the third baseman and it allowed two runners to make it in. Seems we have time on the field, and we will be right back. We are back after that quick coach's timeout. Into the box now, we have number 27, Madison Meeks. First pitch, just a bit inside. It's going to be a ball. Meeks is here with a runner on third and in scoring position. There's still no outs. Swing and almost tries to take out the coach. It's going to go just a little bit foul and making a 1 1 count. I know you definitely got to be quicker on your feet in softball. The bases are, I think, about 60 something feet. You just got to be quick. That ball comes flying at you fast. A little high. Ball is high. Runner steals home. And it will be a 4-0 ball game. Meeks showing butt, but pulling back is going to be a 3-1 count. This has got to be a nightmare for the pitcher. Ball straight down the middle, hit in between the third baseman and shortstop. She's going to get one. Up to bat now, we have number two, Shea Wombles. Foul tip back. This is strike. It's gonna be a 0-1 count here. Pitcher looks unhappy here. I don't think she's liking the calls that she's getting. <laughs> Lots on her shoulder at the moment. With a bunt going straight to her. So. Uh, With a drop at first. But pitcher goes to throw to the second baseman at first. 
but it comes in just a little bit too hot and she drops it. It allows Meeks to advance to second while Wombles is safe at first. Up the bat now, we have number seven, Cindy Booth. She watches the ball go, go for a strike, but the pitcher wasn't paying attention and allowed both runners to score. Not score, <laughs> but to advance. Man, I, I'm i getting my words jumbled up right now. It's all right. I'll just say something completely wrong. <laughs> Ball a little bit high. It's going to be a 1-1 one, one count for Booth. Third pitch here. It is a ball. It will be a 2-1 to one count. Keep in mind, the Rebels are almost through their entire lineup, and they yet to yet to score one out. Booth hits the ball to the shortstop. Shortstop goes, throws her out at first. While she did get thrown out at first, she got an RBI in Meeks and also allowed Shea Wombles to advance to third. Up next, we have... Yaya Velasquez. First pitch called a strike. I think it fouled off her foot or something like that, but it's still going to be a strike regardless. It'll be a 0-2 count here. Ball up high. Watch. It's going to be a 1-2 count. Ball swing. It's going to be a little bit foul. Still going to be a 1-2 count here in the bottom of the first. Pitch is up. A swing and a miss. Ball is loose. She will make it to first. She will make it first as a runner. Doesn't count for an out, though. Up next, we have number double zero, Emily Rhodes. Up to bat. Two runners on. First and third situation right here for the Trojans. Rhodes showed bunt. Pulled back. It was called a strike, though. The Rebels did have Yaya advance to second, so it is a second and third situation. Both runners in scoring position. Rhodes went for the bunt once again. It is now an 0 and 2 count. She's fighting back in it, though. It is a 0-2 count after fouling that one off. Ball almost hitting Rhodes right there. She's going to watch it for a ball. It's going to be a 1-2 count. Ball 
a little bit outside. It's going to be a 2-2 two -two count. Rhodes on a swing and a miss. She will be safe at first. And a runner will advance and score. It is a six to nothing ball game in a first and second situation here. We are back up at the top of the order with number 20, Riley Banning hitting. This has got to be a scary position for the pitcher to know what she did at the first part of that. <laughs> I might say. Is there another one? Just a little bit too short, but it is in. He's right fielder missed it. It'll just be a single, though, with no one scoring. So bases loaded, one out. With number five, Kaylee Hodge, up to bat. Looks like we have a pinch runner in for the Rebels. We have... Number eight, I think. I don't have a number, or I don't have a name for number eight, but she's getting some minutes, so that's all that matters. Ball inside, 1 0 count. Ball up the middle, it'll be a strike. Hodge here in a 1-1 one, one count. Ball just a little bit outside, I believe. It's going to be a 2-1 count. Ball up the middle. It's going to be a 2-2 two -two count here. You know, 2-2 two -two count, you got to protect anything close because one strike and it's done. Hodge battles back, fouls it off to the third base side. Hodge with a hit to second base. Go to turn two. She is called safe at second with an RBI in. Number one, Yaya making it in. It's a 7 0 ball game. It looks like the coach is coming out. Coach is coming out to speak with the officials. Not sure what happened there. I think he's a little bit unhappy with what happened right there at second base. But we are going to take a quick break real quick, and we'll be right back. All right, we are back. Ball hit fast to the shortstop. It's going to get through. It's going to be number double zero, Rhodes, coming in safe. And we're going to credit Amber Kidd with an RBI right there. Coming in to pinch run for Amber Kidd is number four, Hagen Sessions. Now up to bat is Kennedy Hussey, number nine. Bases loaded. This is the type of situation you want to be in with one out. Ball up the middle, it's going to be a strike. Ball a little bit too low. It's going to be a ball. <laughs> uh, 
pitch in the dirt. It looks like it's going to be fouled off. It's going to be a 1-2 count. Be careful not to play golf here. <laughs> well, sometimes in the moment you just you think something looks prettier than it is. and Sometimes you just swing at it, you know. Mirages, mirages. 1-2 count. Swing to the third shortstop. She's going to throw it to the first baseman, and she's going to be thrown out at first, but not without an RBI. It's going to be a 9 to nothing ball game with two outs left in the bottom of E first. That was number 27, Madison Meeks, on the single. Looks like she beat out the shortstop after the shortstop juggled the ball and was able to make it first, or able to make it safely at first. Up to bat now, we have number two, Shea Wombles. It's going to be a foul tip. It's going to be a 0-1 count. Next pitch fouled off is going to be a 0-2 count. Ball up high. It's going to be a 1-2 count. Meeks easily stealing second base right there. There wasn't, there wasn't even a, a Trojan anywhere near the base right there. I was Charles Henderson. I'd try and lock down on defense. Oh, yeah. I've already seen how it's working out for him. Yeah. Now, I believe she just fouled that ball off, so it's going to be a 1 2 count here. Good choice. You kind of just got to protect anything close right here. Can't let anything sw slip by you, or it's going to be over. Right on the baseline. Throwing the first. It's just a little bit too far left of the baseline, and it will be called foul. She would have be or she would have thrown her out. So I mean, if I'm the Trojans, I'm kind of wishing that they would just let it go. In a game like this, would you trade, or at the moment, would you trade a run for an out? Um. Well, if you get another out, then I mean, that's it. The inning's over, so. I think I think I'd take a I think I'd just not go for anything. <laughs> the previous pitch was a ball, so it is a two two count. Ball is fouled towards the Trojan dugout. Still a two two count. Coach got to stay on his toes or he's gonna lose him. <laughs> And it will be a backwards K as she will go out looking. At the end of the first inning, your score is Charles Henderson 0, Zion Chapel 10. Back with the second inning. Here's the pitch. A little low. A little low. We have number 9, Mary West in for the Trojans up to bat leading off this inning. Ball just on the outside corner of the plate. It's going to be a strike. West already in a 1-1 count. Ball a little bit low outside. It's going to be a 2-1 count. A close call right there. 
It's going to be a little bit outside. It's going to be a 3-1 count. Ball in the dirt. It will be a walk for number nine, Molly Mary West. Up to bat now, we have number 24, and I'm sorry if I butcher this name, Genesia Cantlow. That was a called a strike, but it was a little bit a little bit high in my opinion. It's gonna be an 0 one count for Cantlo. Ball near about the same place. I O2 count. It's both of these balls or strikes have looked a little bit high in my opinion. Ball on the outside corner goes to throw the runner out. She will be safe. It'll be a 1-2 count here. Here's the pitch. A hit up towards center field. There is... Number five, Kaylee Hodge with the catch. Good catch running, having to run further infield. Oh, yeah. Running out for that catch is it's always better than running back for the catch, in my opinion. That's the first out up the bat now. We have number four, Camille Lewis. Ball up high. It's going to be a ball. Gonna be a 1 0 count to start. Ball plays just a bit outside. She's gonna be a swing and a miss. It's gonna be a 1 1 count. Ball low, she goes to throw out the runner at first, but it will be safe once again. It'll be a 2-1 count as signaled by the umpire. Lewis goes to swing. It will be up high. It will be a swing and a miss. And it will now be a 2-2 count. It will be a ball perfectly down the middle, and she does not swing. It will be a backwards K, and it will be the second out of the inning. Up to bat now, we have um, number 22, Adarian Greenwood. Ball down the middle, it will be a strike. Charles Henderson, you want something to happen right now and real fast. I was about to say, you need to get something going. I know there's a lot more innings to play, but anything that you can get that helps carry that momentum is stellar. I mean, with the gap as it is right now, you need to go further and further. You, I'm about to say, you need to get some kind of momentum going. you got to have some, so much more to claw back. Ball was in the dirt. It will be a 1-1 count. Ball a little low. Runner stealing second. She'll make it safely. It'll be a 2-1 count. Swing and a miss. It'll be a 2-2 two -two count. Two outs. Two balls. Two strikes. That's a... I don't, it's always tough to hit in this situation right here. Ball straight down the middle. It'll be another backwards K for Bannon. 
And it will be the end of the top of the first. Second. Man, I'm sorry. One or the other. One or the other. We'll be right back. <laughs> Here we are, bottom of the second. I believe that is number seven. Sandy Booth up to bat. Ball a little bit outside, but it will be called a strike. Booth fouling the ball away. It will be a 0-2 count. Booth hitting the ball strongly to the shortstop. She bobbles it, miss throws, throws it past the first baseman, and she will make it the two out of all this. Yeah, well, I think at that point the coach was kind of trying to wave them off, wave them off and hold them at second. Up to bat now, we have number one, Yaya. Ball up high, it will be a ball. 1-0 count to start the at-bat. Ball a little bit low and inside, it's gonna be a 2-0 count. <laughs> I'm about to say, you better watch out for some shins because ball is flying low. Not just on Charles Henderson's side, it's flying a little bit low on the Rebels as well. Might just be how they catch it, but. Yeah. <laughs> That's going to. Ball's just a little bit higher as we be talking about low balls, and it's going to be a 3 0 count. Ball up the middle, but that's fine. I mean, every time, every year in baseball I played, they've always told us to take the ball on a 3-0 count. I mean, if they're not, coaches have always said, if they're not going to give you anything, then don't swing at it. And that's just exactly what she did. Next ball is a ball up high, and so she will take her base. Up next, we have number double zero, Rhodes, up to bat. We. We have runners in first and second position while the Zion Chapel coach is calling time to have a quick conversation with the Rhodes. No, last time she was up, she uh, kept trying to drag bunt. You think, you think that's something that she'd try to do here or just try to put the ball in play and make Charles Henderson work for it? That's what she does. She swings first pitch. It's going to be a 0-1 count. So you can see with that little drop of the drop of the knees right there, she's trying to swing out. <laughs> she's she can. swinging for the fences right here. Next pitch is going to be outside. It's going to be a 1-1 count. And another swing and a miss, and it will be a 1-2 count. And Rhodes takes one to the helmet. She took it like a champ right there. She, uh, That's impressive. She didn't even, didn't even really flinch or anything. She just kind of took it and ran. Fall to the ground, no nothing. <laughs> up to bat now, we have Bannon up ready to hit. This is the one that hit it over the, like, the first first at bat of the game. Oh. Loaded bases. Loaded bases, no outs. I mean, she hit it. She's hit it deep both times. So if I'm the outfield, I'm, I'm prepared for anything right here. 
and she will foul away the first pitch, and it will be an 0-1 count. I just realized how smart double zero is right there. Instead of getting hit in the shoulder, got hit in the helmet. She <laughs> dropped a little bit when that came in. Yeah. So yeah I guess. That way, that way it doesn't really wear as hard. doesn't really put too much force on your body. Second pitch is in. And it is a 1-1 count here in the bottom of the second. Have a strike here for Manon. It will be a 1-2 count. A 1-2 count for Manon. Mason's loaded, no outs. Here you just want to put the ball in play and make the defense work for it. And that's exactly what she does. Line drive straight to right field when the right fielder can't make the catch. It will only score one, though, as Booth will make the trip around the bases and score a run. And we have a courtesy runner for Banning. It will be number eight, uh, Aubrey Bassett. Up to bat now, we have number five, Kaylee Hodge. Hodge in the same scenario, three runners on, no outs. Ball up high, it will be a 1-1 count. Hodge fouling the ball. Deep right field. It will go out of play. Luckily, that was in the part of the, I guess, what, walkway where no one's really standing. Yeah, part of the walkway where no one's really sitting. So, you know, the Rebels are under renovation here, and so they're trying to trying to readjust and realign how they enter. It is weird. Cause what Hodge with the ball to the left field. It will be caught, and the runners will hold. Back on your last point of Zion being under renovation, it was weird driving down here and not seeing the big concession stand that used to be here. Yeah, that's something that they kind of quickly tore down. There's just a giant hole where the concession stand was. It's like someone's stealing your stairs. Like, where, what do you do now? <laughs> where can you go? Up the mat now, we have number 42, Amber Kid. First pitch was just a bit outside. It's something that you've already seen so far. Zion are already holding their runners. They're not really being aggressive on the base and not really running. Kid with a hit the shortstop. Shortstop will go to first. And Kid will be thrown out, but not without an RBI. Yeah. Up to bat now, we have number nine, Kennedy Hussey. Up to bat. With two runners on, two outs. And it will be a hit to right field. And it looks like she's going to be able to get there pretty easily. And two runners will score. She hit home. Number double zero, Rhodes. And Aubrey Bassett. Madison Meeks is now up to bat. With a one runner on and two outs. First pitch down the middle. It'll be a strike. First 
First pitch up high. It'll be a ball. Throw. Hussey went and go steal second. And ball was thrown down. I couldn't really see what happened, but, you know, a lot of people were saying she was out. Could have been. I don't know. I didn't see it. Ref called her safe, so we're just going to go with what the ref said. A lot of things. So, yeah, a lot of those happen. You just got to live with them. <laughs> yeah. Meek swung. The ball went foul. Still, it's going to be a 2-2 count. A 1-2 count. Sorry about that. Meek swing, it'll get past the shortstop and she'll beat out the throw to first base. Up next we have number two, Shea Wombles up in a first and third situation. <laughs> Gotta imagine that Rebels may send the first base runner to try to force the throw. Yeah, I keep seeing uh setups, but positioning like that, well, never mind, I was going to say, I'm not sure where they'd place it with it like this, Yeah. send it down third, I guess you, would your best bet be in deep in the left field for, if it was first and third? Probably something like that, I don't know, it's been a minute since I played baseball. <laughs> Meeks easily stealing second base, and Wobbles hitting the ball straight up the middle for a single. And it will be a two-run single with the Rebels going up 16 to nothing with two outs. We are up once again back up to the top of the lineup, or leading off the inning again with number seven, Sydney Muth. Rebels still sending their runners. Wombles will be safe. It'll be a 0-1 count. Ball up high, but she swings anyways, and it will be. An RBI triple for Booth here to put the Rebels up 17 to nothing. <laughs> up to bat now, we have number one, Yaya. The like Trojans will take a coach's timeout and we will be right back. The Trojans have made a pitching change here in the bottom of the second. Uh, Camille Lewis will now be pitching for the Trojans. Ball is thrown up high. It will be a ball. will be hit to the third baseman, and she will be thrown out. That will be the final out of the inning, and we will retire the second inning. Zion Chapel 17, Charles Henderson 0. Here we are in the top of the third inning. We have number 19, Savannah Turner up to bat. I believe she is playing in right field. Ball a little bit low. It will be a ball, obviously. So I believe it will be a 1-1 count. Now a 2-1 ball, 
ball count. It'll be a uh, be a good eye from the Trojans right here. Swing and a miss. It will be a 2-2 two -two count now. Ball is thrown. It is a swing and a miss for the first out of the third inning. Up to bat now for the Trojans, we have number 27, Reese Garrett. Pitch is thrown and is hit right back at us. It'll be a 0-1 count. Pitch is up. Down the middle, swing and a miss. It'll be a 0-2 count for Garrett. That was a good eye by Garrett right here. It'll be a 1-2 count. Swing and a foul by Garrett. This is a good way to stay in there and keep fighting. Still be a 1-2 count. Garrett is still in here in this fighting. I like the fight. I like the mentality. It is still a 1-2 count. Dangerous right here. This pitcher knows she might swing us, swinging just about anything she throws. I'm about to say, right now you're in swing mode. You're just kind of getting into that rhythm. And Garrett fouls in the way another one. The pitch is up. And it is a swing. They're going to say she didn't swing. Going to say she didn't swing and call the ball. Garrett still in survive, in fight mode. She's staying in there. I mean, she keeps on battling. It's it's a two two count. She's not letting letting the rebels have anything. Pitch is low, and that is the good eye by Garrett. It is a three two count. It's a full count. Pitch is thrown, and it is a strikeout. It is another backwards K for Bannon. Up to bat now, we are back at the top of the lineup. Jada Jones is now once again batting. Ball is thrown up high, and back here at us, it is going to be a 1-0 count. Must be heard what we saying. <laughs> it is going to be a foul back here. It is going to be a 1-1 count.
Swing in the, or not a swing, but ball in the dirt. It's going to be a 2-1 count. I believe it hit the the umpire in the, the shin, so. No, shin guards or not, that's going to hurt. Pop up, catcher's looking back, and it will be the third out. That is Amber Kinn making the catch, and that will retire the top of the third inning. Very impressive from the catcher right there. Oh, for sure. Well, we lied. That was, we we're going to call the game here. That is going to be the end of the ball game in the bottom, of, or yeah, bottom of the third. Your Trojans fall short to the Zion Chapel Rebels, 17 to nothing. We'd like to thank you guys for tuning in with us, and we hope everyone has <laughs> has a great day, a great night, whatever time it is that you're watching this.